I met I met Big Rufus, my dog Big Rufus. We met him te um at, at Templeman. He put me on the phone with Baby. Mm -hmm. I spit for Baby. Yeah, come home. You know what I'm saying? Ran the cash money. A couple of times we chopped it up a few times. Did a song with Mr. Ivan, One Eighty Seven in the Hot. Baby looked at me. He didn't look at me as a bounce rapper. He knew I was hip hop. Mr. Ivan, One Eighty Seven in the Hockey Man. He was a real rapper. You heard me? Right. He put me on a song with Mr. Ivan. You heard me? The song never got released. I wound up going to jail. Mm. Feel me? Three and a half years later, come home, P wanted me. Wind up going that way. Feel me? But me and Slim. Slim had a chance, he had this dealing with baby too, you know what I'm saying? But it chose to go that way. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, was a, it was a time at a point Slim could have signed with Cash Money? Right. Slim, Slim, Slim was wanted, man. So you think if it wasn't for the relationship between KL and Soda Slim, Slim probably would have signed with Cash Money? I think, yeah. 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 So his loyalty to That's KL? That's me too. Okay. Wait a view. I give you that way, I give you that. So I say I'm going to give you some medicine. So I'm giving you medicine because that's what it, I bro. promise you. Hey, sound dog, you heard me full blood, you know what I'm saying? Rockin' with video one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. Say, bro, uh, I gotta start with what, what, what would you say people know you most from? Ah, <sighs> full blooded, uh, how, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm known with both of them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hound is my nickname, full blooded is my, is my artist name. You know what I'm saying? So, when you speak nationwide, you might say full blooded. But when you speak regional, you might say how. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. If you if you say if you say nationally, like uh, as far as for the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Globally or whatever. Uh, another people, another people know you from uh, the relationship with Soul Stone. Yeah. yeah, that's my cousin, man. Blood cousin. Uh, rest, 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 rest in peace, cousin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and my cousin, we stay busting head busters off top. It ain't no thing to let them hang and watch them pistols go pop. Y'all know that shit, man. Me and my cousin, that was real shit. Not no guy. Y'all, y'all was raised together type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I get it from everybody, bro. I gotta ask, bro, if, if you had to explain Slim's character yourself and, and him, how was he growing up? And man, we all clowns, man. You know what I'm saying? We Joe Stout, you heard me? We Joe Stout to the moment, kind of. You know what I'm saying? When that moment comes, shit get real. Yeah. So he was a clown, you heard me? Next time, that, and that, rip you till you cry, you heard me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can talk about him like a dog, he'll laugh at his motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but if he don't fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? He don't fuck with you. And that, that just, that's just how we is for us, it's our family, you know what I'm saying? So one of the famous, the first time I got put on how, if you remember, was him was talking about it in the studio. He was asking, this is somebody who was claiming the name how. Basically a whole what war, a whole war took on that, right? Took on how? Not the whole war. <clears throat> Dirt Town and Howes, you know what I'm saying? And okay. you know, that we supported by the rest of the war. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But Dirt Town is, is how it's having our unit to never do that. For, for my folks who don't know, what is Gertow? That's this. Gertow, that's shit. That's, I mean, it ain't a project, but it, it could be compared to one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, but it's, if anybody know Gertow, man, it, it's like, a, it's family. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we, our, all of us is, like, Gertow is, it, 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 like, everybody can some kind. You can't go back there telling nobody about nobody, because, man, him might be can't. And me and him might not be kin, but we both kin to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, and then, you know, it, it goes on and on. So, Gertown is, 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 is intertwined as family. So, we, we, we together. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody, I mean, anybody that know us, they know that village, like, they together. You know what I'm saying? We have our disagreement like in the family, but Gertown, house and Gertown have it out you to never deny. Anybody from New Orleans, anybody that know about us, they know, you know what I'm saying, all no gang shit, we on some brotherhood, sisterhood mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying, we stand firm on that. And we keep each other in check. Anybody that know us know that. Bro, and you, and you are credited to be the original hound? Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. I stamped that, uh, matter of fact, I stamped How from Gertown on Down South Hustler. It's, I started it in 94. You know what I'm saying? And I was locked up, you know what I'm saying, on some charges. And Master P and KL got at me through my miles. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They wanted the song I had, The Murder Weapon, to be put on Down South Hustler. You know what I'm saying? So you wouldn't sign with them at that point? Hell no, I was locked up. I was on charges. You know what I'm saying? When they, when they got the song from you, you was locked up? Yeah. They, they uh, you know, we dealt through communication through my moms, you know what I'm saying? And I told my mom, let them let them go on and fuck with that, you know what I'm saying? Right now, you with the streets no more, you know what I'm saying? See, and then when you did No Limit, though, and I, cause I hear the story that you and Slim hit No Limit together? Yeah, okay. we both, we both signed together, man. We both came home like two weeks apart, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I was home like two weeks before him, and I waited for him to come home and KL took both of us to uh to Bad Rouge. So when I when they when they pulled up on me, she I was in my aunt house, man, you know me and a little female, we chilling. Slim walked through the door like, Did you ready to go with him? You ready? So I'm like, what you mean? And KL walked in my house like, what you wanna do? Man. I'm like, see I gotta get my shit. So they like, what shit, you don't need that, let's go. So I'm like, yeah, so we took out, yeah, I love the broad shit man, you know what I'm saying? Um, bro. <laughs> I was fucked out, I was gone, man. See, bro, everybody in the interview, too, they, they had their experiences with No Limit and uh, some summer cash money. They always have the, the, the story of, and I think this is only No Limit, though, that that P always had some type of package for you when you signed with No Limit. Like when I, house when, and, yeah, when, we signed, when, when I signed with No Limit, when me, well, when me and my cousin signed with No Limit, you know what I'm saying, we would stay in the hotel together, you know what I'm saying. We would stand at the resident at the resident end, you know, and we were both together and that bill was like a little like a little sale. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We that bit, we joked out. You come in that bitch, we play penitentiary games, play all kind of games. <laughs> if you got feelings, you gotta stay the fuck around uh -huh. there, so that's, that's just how it was, you know. But uh yeah, we uh First got that, you know, nigga broke bread for the shop and that shit, got a nigga get up, put a nigga out of nigga situation. You know, it was all, you know, the bread was broke. I don't deny that, you know what I'm saying? Bread was broke, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But yeah. I just didn't feel it. I just be in my feelings about the career type shit, you know what I'm saying? I done gave all that back for a career. <laughs> yeah. Real yeah, nigga shit. Yeah. I mean, you said what you mean, like? It was, it was games being played. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I done signed the death jam, but I done signed with no limit. I ain't going no fucking way, you know what I'm saying? I for this guy. Boy, what the fuck? Boy, you better not fuck with boy. I'm telling with the thing. It's like Russell Simmons and New Orleans. I don't even I ain't think about going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to stay and I'm gonna I'm I'm hold it down, you know what I'm saying? So, how I felt, but I didn't think about me like that, you know what I'm saying? The love didn't come back like that, what you're saying? The love came back in money wise, but not career wise. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm real hip hop. I'm not a rapper. I'm hip hop. You know what I'm saying? You got to jump the rap game just because it's a rap game. He won't eat. He won't. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this bitch since break dancing. Mm -hmm. I ain't start with no limit. You know what I'm saying? Me and KLC, the drum major, shit, I was cool to challenge before I break dancing. You know what I'm saying? Before we was in the rap game, period. So, you know what I'm saying? No limit wouldn't have been there. I used to get the world's fair free money. You was part of a crew? <laughs> huh? You was part of a crew? Every time I rock was there. Mm -hmm. I used to get in the world's fair free. At 84, with the Manolian, with the fucking boom box, with the Adidas giant suit, the shell toes, the motherfucker. I'm, I'm hip hop. I did the Michael Jackson. Any nigga that did hip hop did, did Michael Jackson with the glitter, but I did all that shit, man. I ain't never played sports. My whole life was hip hop. I ain't never had a pair of jars. I always had Adidas. <laughs> you know me? Yeah. Say, bro, uh, what would you what would you say was the height of your career on the way? The height of my career that I felt was doing all them features and shit, like fuck with C Murder. You know what I'm saying? Fuck 
Cain and Abel, that was Cain and Abel was somebody that I had like mad respect for. They went to Xavier. That was in my hood, you know what I'm saying? No, Cain and Abel, Abel went to Xavier University. Yeah. That's in Girtown, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I used to hear a lot about them, you know what I'm saying? And I, I always wanted to f with them. They, they rap gang, they, they spit gang, they were from New York. They spit gang was crucial, you heard me? So, so I got a chance to f with them, you heard me? And on, 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 on this song, I put on, what I, what I, what I, what I, what I write? House from Gertow, you can act like you don't know me. I'm the same nigga that does shit back in 94 with Pete. Down South Hustler, motherfucker. Murder, 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 pass me my murder weapon. Shit gets scary when the lights turned out. All you hear is rounds growling. Motherfucker getting wiped out. Hit the flow, get low. Y'all know how I go. Last man standing from the impact to this motherfucker. I'll choke. Respect my mind, that's all I fuck. I ask for. Around the South, be an island. Rest of the world, be a bloodbath. I'm too fatal. I'm giving facials. I don't give a fuck about a Give me your life on the paper. I was born for this type of shit. All I gotta do is sniff with two glocks and four clips. Four clips. I'm full blooded. When I first met him, I should have wet him. He ain't got the sign of a soldier, so you play him like a hoe, bro. I'm about that combat. Mm. Check the cannon anyway. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. 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 What you expressed a second ago, you said, you said uh, I'll give it all back for a career, right? You, 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 you ever bring it to P? I spoke to him about it? I maybe said, um, he had my thought process about it. I thing. never would give an opportunity to. Hey, you turn, see the Memorial Day album? Mm -hmm. I produced that whole album in a 24 hour period, my nigga. I turned that 19 song to 24 hour. You heard me? Snoop sent me a song, see Murder sent me a song. You heard me? I freestyle on Snoop song. Freestyle on, uh, well, I wrote that shit on the spot with see Murder song. All the rest of that shit was me and my hounds, dog. I turned that 19 song to 24 hours. And I was pressured to do that because I was told I had two weeks to turn the album, you heard me? When I started on my album, like five o'clock that day, boom. About two, three that morning, boom. You heard Carlos Steven get a call, boom. Man, peace if you're having your shit wrapped up about five o'clock. Tomorrow you got to shut it down, boom. Hey. Like, and I cried. You heard me? Nigga, I wanted to drop a album. You heard me? I went from two weeks to 24 hours. I produced 19 songs in 24 fucking hours. You hear me? And when I got, when we got to fucking Hollywood to go do my video, we had we went to the studio, me, Mo, we dig, we all went to the studio, so we had to finish doing some production, whatever. Three songs had some pull and they got lost. So now I got 16 yes. songs. So now I gotta record another song to make it 17. You heard me? So you talking about anybody like compliment like they don't like the Memorial Day, but they got any fucked up feelings about it, I produced that in 24 hours. P told me I could have made the Guinness Book of World Records. You heard me? That's what P told me, you heard me? My shit hit Billboard, Heat he Street and Billboard 100. First week, that bitch dropped off the Billboard because there's no promotion. My video was never aired. My single was never played. None of that shit. See, bro, you think it was, because uh, this hit people in my mind. You think he was that was a setup or something like that? I want to say setup, but kind of like a setup of feeling. Or? I, I, I feel like, I feel like, like when we first got with No Limit, me and my cousin, you heard me? Like, it was, I don't know. It I'm was like, like 20, 24, that is, that is almost impossible, wasn't it? I did it. But you did it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. I did it. You know what I'm saying? I did it. 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I feel like, I don't know. Like, when I first, when we first, when we first got with No Limit, it was some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? With my cousin Slim. We, you know, we, like I said, we be on some fucked up times sometimes. Joseph, serve on God come up this. Time. I hear people, you know, talk, you know, so I'm, I'm putting it right here. Serve God come up missing, bro. He said so the slim guy. So serve fucking with slim bad. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like it. This is my little cousin. I don't like this shit. I'm feeling some kind of way. But I ain't nothing I can do about it because slim a man. You know what I mean? So when they when 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 they come to P, P like shh, made everybody go back and look for the gun. Everybody go back and do it. No, nobody find a girl. Gun was slim.
<laughs> I told him that's it, bitch. Why you need a fucking gun? What the fuck? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You laughing, man. You tripping, you heard me? So now, hey, look, that gets served, probable cause. I served by hard. Oh, Y'all, that's no real. But you know, man, sir, like a football player, slim right now, you know, like a basketball, you know, you know, you know, you know. Did Slim really take it? Did he really take it or he just ended up fighting it? Man, Slim took that man, she ain't up in the fight of that man, shit. That's my cousin, man, come on, man. <laughs> and you know, I don't know, you know, I'm being honest. At the end of the day, that's what I was led to believe myself, you hear me? But at the time, I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, nigga, tripping on my cousin, fucking on Slim. I'm from Slim Bag and we just saying, you know, I'm on that kind of time trying to look out for my cousin, you know what I'm saying? So, man, we get to the point where in the lobby, you heard me, it's like Slim and, you know, sir, it's, about, it's like they about to clash, so I get between them. Come on, Slim, let's go, boom. I don't want to see the fight. I don't want to see the fight because I'm going to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I, ain't, I can't watch. You Slim feel? and Sir want to the fight. Yeah. So, I can't watch this, so I'm... In between that, so I done took Slim, we gone upstairs to the room, 17th floor. Mm, you know, we got the, the, you know, they got the key. You know, I don't know, they had to just start making, you know, we trying to put the key in, the, the little car that ain't work. We mm, went through the elevator door, boom, everybody come off that bitch, you got a you got a servo, you got a candy, you got feed, you got, man, you got all the security, man, you got about 20 come off the elevator to see this fight. You feel me? They come to see the fight. They ain't stop serving at all. You ever some serving dead in the slim? <laughs> slim, you know, you're a buck oh five. You know, <laughs> serve three oh five. So, you know, <laughs> you know how that shit be. So, my cousin fighting his ass off, but you know, he ain't, you know. So, serve every time he, you know, touch, you know, serve, throw him to the wall. Boom. You know, in the hallway, in the hotel, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more than what, six foot wide, eight foot wide, you know what I'm saying? So he keep throwing them to the wall, throwing them. So when they got through, you know, shit. Like my time. You know? So, you know, when they got through, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm like, man, my turn. You know what I'm saying? And, and he looked like what? And shit, I popped him. Like, I'm serious. So we went in water, you know? Still. I ain't still right talking to you, man. Yeah. I'm not playing with you. So ain't no nothing about no stove. If I'm telling you my turn, give me my fucking turn. You just fucked my cousin up. I want my turn. So we ain't about to talk, so don't ask me no question about what. That's how that went. How, how, how big were you at this at the time? Probably this size, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. About this size. Tall, but I was towed up, you know. 50, 50 years old, fuck out. I, I was 20, 26, 27. Straight out at uh, DCI, straight See out of the pen, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when we went in, you know what I'm saying? I set him down. No, I set him down. You know? And they like, let him get right. You know? And he got up, and I let him got right. And we went in another one. You know, at the same time, Slim tried to get back. Slim tried to, you know, let those you know, things hold his Slim back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, chill out, cuz, yeah, let me see. So, we went in another one, you know what I'm saying? I sat him down the second time, you know what I'm saying? And that time, he couldn't get right, you know what I'm saying? And that's when, you know, sir went down there talking about they let us jump him. You know what I'm saying? And Pete felt some kind of way. <clears throat> and uh, uh, Pete, Pete felt some kind of way. So, we all... Uh, he was good, he put a good Because I pushed it up somewhere. Yeah, we all, we all in the hotel live. And I'm off with sir. Mm -hmm. I'm just speaking the real. Yeah, I was just going to ask you too, how's your relationship No, I fuck, man, I'm off with sir. If I see him, I'm going to hug him, I'm going to dab him. I'm just talking the real. This ain't no whole shit. I, ain't, I don't do whole shit. I don't do bitch shit. I'm joking right now. I got his eye on up for interviews. I give you that way, I give you that. So I say I'm going to give you some medicine. So I'm giving you medicine because that's what I promise you. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with this. 20 years in past, I ain't, I ain't up for no interview. 
I don't talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, and I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I'm still I'm all 32 teeth. You hear me? Still pepped up. Still got spit game. You hear me? Still here. I ain't lose nothing. I ain't lose nothing. I don't give a fuck who they artist is. You hear me? I'm still going. I can still get in the studio. And my four day artists. Is. Like, I'm still here, man. Full blooded, still here. I got I got a video. I got a video in the single. Funeral song, uh, If I Had Wing, that's on YouTube, you can look that up. I got another video song, a funeral song, a t-shirt with his picture, that's on YouTube, you can look that up, you hear them, them, them uh, funeral songs, you hear that, 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 that's what I go through, pain, that's what I see, pain, that's what I talk about, you know what I mean? So that's what I was gonna ask too, like, what, what triggers that, like, I make mean, sure, you know, because that's what they like you say, like, you dealing with, I, I, I mean, coming up from where we come up from, man, right, you know, it, it, that's all you, I mean, that, it, you, 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 you immune to pain, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, that like, like, Damn, when, when I signed with No Limit, boy, I was happy than a motherfucker. But it was a dream that I woke up from within two years. You feel me? But when I signed to No Limit, oh boy, shh, whoo, boy, I thought the pain was over. You know what I'm saying? But that was temporary. You know what I'm saying? I was fucking I'd be proving my the You know what I'm saying? Since what actually happened when you see the two the two year run, what what I I, I I like I said when I when I when the, the, the shit was served, man, when P A when P A served, I was going to that when P A served, did he wanna fight me again, sir, say he was good, he didn't wanna fight no more. So I feel like P felt some kind of way. Real shit P. You know what I'm saying? No whole shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he felt some kind of way. Survey ain't won't fight, you heard me? So, boom. I feel like when it came to my project, you know what I'm saying? When, when I done my project, the whole, everybody was gone out the country. There ain't nobody to get on my own. Everybody was on, I was, yeah, ain't nobody. New was known for features, bro. Everybody was gone, my own, there ain't nobody. It was out the country when I worked on my own. You heard me? I only way Snoop and C got on my album them was songs already done that they sent me. All right, so the album, the whole album situation happened after the after the fight. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Yeah. That's why. That's what I asked, bro. That shit seemed like a, yeah. a, a movie trip. Why would you go for all? Turned in nineteen songs in one night. What I done? Yeah, that's what I asked. Like, like, what was the whole thing behind that? Like, what was the whole thing behind that? As a matter of fact, when 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 No Limit was at its ending stages. I turned in the album, I turned in the um the 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 uh the Blood and Passion album. Me and my house from Gerta, I had to got them signed. I turned in that whole album, but I two tracked it so it couldn't be used without me. You know what I'm saying? I took half of the instruments, put it on one track, took half of the instruments, put it on another track. So to open it all up, you're gonna need me and the producer. So I turned that album in two track. You know I mean? So I turned that album in. And I turned back around and recorded a whole nother album and called that bitch Untamed and dropped that album. Let me ask you, bro, you, 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 you did that because you was protecting yourself. You was like creating a net for yourself just in case. Yeah, it like, couldn't be used. So what So what, what? the energy was like after that between, you know, pretending to acting like you, everything was still cool? But he shut the whole label down. Like, really, it wasn't just about me. The, I got fucked with my album situation. I didn't get promoted, I didn't get no airplay or nothing. You know, and, you know, like I say, I would have gave all that shit I got back for a career. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm an artist, you know what I'm saying? This, I'm hip hop, that's my life, you know what I'm saying? Anybody know me, all, like I said, I never owned a pair of jobs. All you, all you know me for is Adidas, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I don't feel like my, my art, my talent was disrespected because I ain't come off with them, they come off with me. I was locked up. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? And, and when I got released, I was told I was coming inside with them. I ain't asked for that. I ain't, I, I was minding my business, my n****. You know what I'm saying? I was in jail fighting off the show and when my come bother me, but I was locked up. About a song, and I, I let that bitch go, and I stabbed that bitch. Put hounds from Gertown. How girl, what you want hounds from Gertown? I said, shit, that's my hood. I want to represent. Put hounds from Gertown. You heard me? So that's a solo song that say hounds from Gertown. That's on Down South Hustler. That's me, full bloody. But that bitch say hounds from Gertown. 
You heard me? That, that's when I stamped that hound shit right there. Bow. You heard me? That you played play the seed too? Yeah. 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 And how me having our unit to never deny. And we ain't all no, ain't all no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Check each other about loyalty, love, and respect. You know what I'm saying? With each other. And there ain't, ain't no f game. Don't even get into his brotherhood, sisterhood. You know what I'm saying? Love that, bro. I appreciate that shit, bro. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie, man. I, 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 before you before you introduce me to that, I, I you know you think you think gang, you, you know. Yeah. You think uh, street shit and stuff, yeah. you know, but uh, I don't we care. stand on street shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We stand on it. You know what I'm saying? But we unity like that. That's what it is. We love on each other. You come around there, we loving on each other. You know what I'm saying? We we fuck off with each other. You know what I'm saying? We're rough over each other. We're knocking each other shit loose. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm speaking on is the real. You know what I'm saying? And I'm giving you that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no lying, no made up shit, ain't no fuck shit. It's just, I'm, I'm stepping up to deliver some shit that I promised you I was gonna give you, man. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But like, sir, shit, I fuck with you, dog. You already know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never denied nothing about you getting you this me. you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just that I don't know what, like, I can't figure out what made me, like, how I fly. I'm not garbage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, I, and, 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 and like, like a man, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the average motherfucker off in the studio. You feel me? I'm, I'm a writer, man. I write movie scripts, I write fucking poetry. I write, now I write, bro. You feel me? Hip hop, I write. It ain't just rapping, I write. You it's know easy. what I'm saying? That, that, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in New Orleans where hip hop ain't big. Mm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. like it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? But my only chances was fucking with cash money of no limit. That's how I felt. You know what I'm saying? I need to get with one of them. And I had an opportunity to get with Baby too. Mm. You feel me? that too. Yeah, I had an opportunity to get the. I met, I met Big Rufus, my dog Big Rufus, we met him in um, Templeman. Big Rufus used to call me Ice Cube, that was like in 90, 91, we Joseph. He used to call me Ice Cube, we were challenging fucking old niggas with the rap shit. Mm -hmm. He put me on the phone with Baby. Mm -hmm. I spit for Baby, yeah. Come home, you know what I'm saying? Ran the cash money, a couple of times, we chopped it up a few times, did a song with Mr. Ivor, 187 in the hockey. Baby looked at me, he didn't look at me as a bounce rapper, he knew I was hip hop. Mr. Ivan 187 with a hockey man, he was a real rapper, you heard me? He put me on a song with Mr. Ivan, you heard me? The song never got released. I wound up going to jail. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Three and a half years later, come home, P wanted me. I wound up going that way. Feel me? But me and Slim, Slim had a chance, he had him dealing with Baby too, you know what I'm saying? But to to go that way, you know what I'm saying? We so, talk. so it was a it was a time and a point Slim could have signed with Cash Money. Fucking right, Slim, Slim, Slim was wanted, man. Yeah, it's good for them. And even from the back, I always wonder why that never happened. You know what I mean? Like, so I always think everybody always say because KLC. It like all of us was under the KLC umbrella, man. You know, KL had Parkway pumping records. You know what I'm saying? And KL real hip hop. Break, like I said, from breakdance, you know, and he had a real rap label, a real label where he had real MCs, and for you to even go in his boot, you had to do a one take, ain't no stopping and pausing, you know, you gonna run that shit, you gonna run that shit, he wanted one take. So you think if it wasn't for the relationship between KL and Soda Slim, Slim probably would've signed with Cash Money? I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, so his loyalty to KL? That's me too. I mean, I'm loyal to KL too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he was that bridge. He was the weight, bro. Man, and he was touching like, you know, was... my first time rapping on a real studio beat was with Kel. I was in like I was reintroduced like Sugar Slim out the Magnolia. Like he took a favor of me with the rap shit. I was I was young. I was like I was I don't remember, but I was young. And he took a favor. He introduced me to the Felicity Crew. Felicity Crew had like three members, so they didn't need a fourth member, mm -hmm. right? So Black Finney took me to KL. Me and KL was reintroduced. We had to bump his way times ago to break that shit. You feel me? So that put me back with KL. Now, my first time rapping on a beat with KL was, uh, 
hit him with some of that street knowledge. Hit him with some of that street knowledge. But I'm falling to the boot. But I'm falling to the boot. That was the beat he made for me, you know what I'm saying? In, in the name of the song, we can make it happen. That was a, that was my first time ever rapping on a real studio track, you know what I'm saying? So, fucking right, like KL, yeah, man, that's that's my dude, you know what I'm saying? Sam, when when um when everything happened, no limit, and, and you guys uh, parted ways, Slim ended up starting a control committee. You, you, you know, never know ideal or thought for you guys to link and share and do something together. This this what it was, but uh when. When, when Slim came on, the shit, the, the shit would have to happen with those living where I had to separate it, right? Mm -hmm. Let me rewind it back some more. Oh, God. Now I got to give you some shoes, bro. Because see, what you asking me is some shit that leads to why you asking, the shit you asking, I got to tell you okay. because we not together. And I know it's a question why I wasn't, right? That's what you asking. Mm -hmm. All right. While we with no limit, it was, it was, and, and this, this some shit my family, my own personal family probably need to hear. Yeah, give me some of that. You know, cause like, it, it's some shit when, 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 like, when, when I was with No Limit, when we were with No Limit, we had, we had, right, we had, that was the fucked up shit where Pete uh, put us together and lit together. We grown men. And, you know, I'm from, I'm from Gertown, 17, slim from the Magnolia, you know, even though we cousins, we got different friends, we got different, you know, like personality, you know what I'm saying? That's my cousin, but like, we both up, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. So that's why every time we was together, it was like in the penitentiary, you come over there and joshing on you, you feel me? But at the end of the day, it like me and him sharing a condo. He got his partner living where he got duck, you know, living with us, you know what I'm saying? I ain't feeling duck. I not I'm not I'm I'm being protective of my cousin. I don't have nothing against him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I'm 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 being protective of my cousin, you know, of, of what he got. I'm I'm older than him, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't vibing with dude and you know it wouldn't I just couldn't get the energy going, you know what I'm saying? So what happened was when Slim Slim went to jail like a day or two for his album drop. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and when he dropped when his album was he was locked up. So that that that, that leave Duck living. God rest him, rest Duck Duck dead. So rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Duck just talking real shit, but you know how it is. So Duck, me and Duck living together. You know what I'm saying? On the on the on the song, you might hear Slim say "Double Crosser." That's what he called him, "Double Crosser." Mm. You know? So Double Crosser. You know, me and Double Crosser, we under the same roof. You know what I'm saying? So. The energy ain't there, you know what I'm saying? Slim that left us in this situation, cause he, you know, this man Slim, when Slim gone, it's me until he gets you, but now it's me and you, cause you acting like you Slim, you know what I'm saying? So, my cousin, I got a cousin, you know, my auntie used to always tell me, man, get your cousin, you know, go get him on the streets, you know what I'm saying? Get low, you gotta grab, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You're the only one out there, you know, you're the kind of locked up. You know what I'm saying? You out there throwing music out here by yourself, you know what I'm saying? So I grabbed cuz. You know what I'm saying? One day I'm down there, you know I see him, boom. And I just say, fuck that. I'm, I ain't, I ain't, I'm taking it with me. I take him back. You know, so me, him, double cross, we all in the spot, you know what I'm saying? So one morning, you know, I bring him to meet Snoop, cause Snoop was right across the tennis court from us. So we down each other throat, we smoking every day. You know, that's a long story, that can go on and on. But I, we over there by Snoop. I got my cousin trying to get him to see what's, you know, trying to shake him. So I'm, you know, I got him looking at, man, this was going on, you, you killing yourself. You know what I'm saying? But this was popping, you know? So, man, we by Snoop and, um, Slim call and he, he in a rage, you know, and Snoop like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Hound Dog, Snoop always called me Hound Dog, never called me Full Blood, I know why, but I started calling myself Hound Dog after that. I used to say Hound, you know. So, <laughs> thank you, Snoop Dog. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we over there by Snoop, so when Slim got off on the phone, Snoop, hold on, Hound Dog, right here, so you give me the phone, yeah, Hound Dog, so when I get on the phone, Little cut like, man, what the fuck you doing? You got a whole dope face standing shit, man. 
Yeah. Oh, no, bro, I'm like, man, that's cuz. You know what I'm saying? I see that TT, man. Off that. We work off that. Off that TT on me. You know what I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked up by that. You know what I'm saying? So while we talking, double cross or utter something. But when he uttered, I ain't even let him get it out. I done hung the phone at him. Boom. The bitch that hit the wall, blow it. I done charged the boom. Now you got my cousin T, T and you got Snoop. They done ran Snoop, got a towel around him. He just got out the shower. This man got a towel around him. They done jumping between all our house, dog. We in this man's house. Yeah. You feel me? So now I got to get out. I got to you know, re-grab myself and I done flash. You feel me? So I done left to got my camp on. We gone, boo, boo, you heard me? So I called Snoop. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So now, boom. I tell cuz, man, look. I gotta send you back to the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? I said, man, look, my gig cut, what? 65, 6,500 cash? You heard me? And know what I told him, bro? If you gonna fuck that up, that's on you. You heard me? I said, you don't owe me nothing. I said, you can go do all that if you want. You can. I said, I don't give a fuck. I just gave it to him like that. I'm sending you home with this. Go do something with this, bro, please. You already see how it's going on. You already see how And cuz went home and right now today, she a king. Yeah, yeah, king. Living in huge, big old house, you know. You no, know, got his shit together, you know. Never look back at him and like him and Slim ain't never got right from that. And me and Slim ain't never got right from that because when, 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 when I pull up at the house, I see a U-Haul, I'm, I'm telling the real, and I ain't on no fish and I love my cut. But I, like I said, shit need to be said, and my family need to hear it too because they, you know, I don't know, you know, but I pull up at the house, I see a U-Haul in front of the spot, and I see Slim Girl, and I see Double Crosser coming out there with furniture. You know what I'm saying? After I done released cuz and sent them on his way, boom. They got a front of uh, you hard. It's, I'm like, damn, is that nice? So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, man, just straight disrespecting me, you know? Like, off me, you know? So if that's how y'all gonna do it, well, this is how I'm gonna do it. But the U was there for what? They taking front of y'all at the spot. Out of our spot. Okay. Me and Slim was living together, but then now uh, Slim, Slim told him to go get all this shit. So. Along with his shit, they went to snatch the shit out of the living room, you know, they, I, I, I pull up while they clearing the living room, you know, so I run upstairs, I grab my banger, boom, put that bitch in my front pocket, boom, I'm calling my, I'm calling my cousin Linda, boom, his mama, that's my cousin, that's my mama niece, call Linda, boom, like, like, cuz, I got this bitch in this, taking shit out the house, and Linda, that, hey, she don't want to hear that, we family, you know what I'm saying? She like, man, y'all need to get it together. Y'all fucking cousins, you know? She ain't trying to tell you. She don't want to hear the shit, you feel me? But while I'm saying something, dude the other something again, and I done, I done up. <laughs> you hear me? And I'm, I done lay in my stable, bitch. I'm talking to my people, you know what I'm saying? Keep running your motherfucking off. You know, my all woo 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 woo, you know what I'm saying? What y'all about to do, y'all about to take that shit that y'all got out that front room, put all that shit back in that house. You hear me? So they had to march all that shit out the front room back in that house. And I stood there and watched them. You know what I'm saying? And so, shit, later on the night, after they got through, boom, 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 they gone, boom, I, I'm gone, boom, 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 Pete called my phone. You heard me, don't go back over there, man. You live around doctors and lawyers and police. You heard me? You know, don't go back over there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have you another spot. So the next day, the next day, I had a, 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 a one bedroom condo and I had a furniture truck pulling up. The brand new furniture. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From that incident. Yeah. You feel me? But like I said, P had two grown men living there. And, and, and I'm going to be real with you. My cousin had his rights. He wasn't wrong. And I wasn't wrong. It was a fucked up situation, man. Because what he was saying is how he felt. And he had no, you know, he had his reason to feel how he feel. You feel what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that's putting two off and grown men together, bro. That's the shit that happened. So that separate, that's separated. That's up. You feel me? It was even the time when Slim, I had when when when, when P bought him a Matero and he wanted me to drive. And Slim, you know, man, don't let Slim drive. You drive. You know, it's your truck. But you just that was another perfect situation. Man, Slim, I'm fucked up.
I'm up here. We both are. Man, we up, bro. I'm married, so now what we do? Every day we argue. But what it was, it was a Matero, right? Mm -hmm. But the Matero sit high in the bitches now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, man, I let Slim go. Slim went, flip the Matero. Mm -hmm. Who got drunk? I got drunk. Cause I gave <laughs> Slim, was, I pulled to be dry. What, what the fuck Slim doing? But I got this yeah, yeah, wrong. Right, you did just basically put you in a situation, huh? Like, yeah, so now, so now you talking about that fucked me and my cousin up like different little episodes, you know what I'm saying? So when he came home, you know, I'm like, Slim, man, you know, the lid was shut down, PA phones, some say shit, whatever you had going on, PA, you know, I gotta just get me, you know what I mean? So now nah, he fucking with P and he ain't fucking with me, so now, nah, you know, he got his little, so that's how all that went, you feel me? So it sound both of us different ways, but we was making amends it's always two days look like. Two days for his album drop. This here a man was we separated two days for his album drop and we got back together like two way two days before he got killed. You feel me? Yeah. Cause see, I'm about to do this deal with cops, bro. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna, you gonna drop a label have him on my label? What you gonna do, bitch? What you gonna do? You feel off right. See y'all say y'all did kind of did make up. Yeah, when we done a song, we man, we went in the studio. You heard me done a song called Homicide Suicide. You heard me? And I could I don't remember all the verb, but I knew I was in. They thought we left each other alone until the tennis sword boom touching the chrome. Wait, wait. They thought we left each other alone until the tennis sword boom clutching the chrome. Clutching the clutching the chrome. Both cousin fit the bust in your home. Take shit, rage shit, leave him clutching the phone. Take his, make his cousin bust his dog. Blood of evil, fuck up with people. Duck him. Man, that be all. That be, but it was, I don't even, I'm standing that shit on the top of my head. I ain't never even repeat that shit. I ain't repeat that shit in about 20 years, man. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know. But it was. Yeah, I thought she was about to leave. I thought she was about to leave and saying that y'all made he died without y'all making up, bro. No, we made him, man, you know. And even, like, after his death. You know, I was fucked up. You know what I'm How saying? How you do that move, bro? Oh, matter of fact, let me ask you. Double Cross is the light-skinned dude, is it? Yeah. Light-skinned dude, okay. Yeah. I, remember, I remember him, too. I remember from my other uh, I got experience with that dude, too, though. Yeah, okay. Man, I'm going to tell you, bro. She, she. Slim, man, our family is, 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 is a close-knitted family, bro. We we together, bro. What me and him went through, bro, it was like some shit. Like, man, I, I don't know. We went, it, it was, I don't know. I, it was fucked up, you know what I'm saying? It was all, it was all for the money. Like, it was, it was not for the money, but it was, like, we was bad. I feel like we was bad playing with, with money, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, like, he gone, I don't know what, why, but I know all this shit with the rap shit, I ain't, my career gone, like, if I ain't, like, all oh, my people is no limit. No limit done a whole over your head without full blood. And come on. Everything from Down South Hustler to I Got the Hook Up to the TRU album to the C Murder, uh, Life After Death album. You hear all these gold and platinum albums, man. What about the movies? The, uh, the first, uh, last down I had a little cameo appearance. And that, I ain't really in, like, in the mood, but I, I, got, I earned like 10 gold and platinum plaques. From different on feet down with my own drive. I don't do that. Mm. But I give you 19 in one night. Say, bro, I gotta ask you two things real quick. Well, uh, one, how's your people relationship today? I don't know. I don't have no feeling. Like, I just, like I said, I'm good. Bro, bread, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I feel like well, because my career ain't going nowhere, but I'm here. I ain't, I ain't all no fuck up time. I don't know. I don't know the energy. I just know like I, when the tour went, shit. You didn't tell me I no limit to. I got hype. <laughs> okay. Did you, did, you, did, you, did you did you go your part of the tour? I don't know. I don't tell you. <laughs> I 
That's what I'm talking about. No See, communication or nothing? Uh, it wasn't that. I ain't getting that. I ain't that. I wouldn't even, like, I ain't, I ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I'm still here, yeah, man. I'm still here yeah, for cool. See, bro, the second thing I added, and I gotta ask you too. What, what ever happened to Double Cross? He got Double Cross ended up getting a couple of years ago. Um, Gal was in um, Canal. Got killed on Gal with Canal. Uh, but like I said, you know, my energy, you know, you know me, you know I'm humble, you know where I'm at. I ain't on no rough time. You know, I'm giving you this interview because it, it, it's needed. Right? You know, I ain't never spoke my side, you know what I'm saying? So, That's some deep shit, though. The you know what I'm saying? The whole thing is deep. And like, you know, like my cousin, I love my cousin. You know what I'm saying? It, it, like that shit took a lot out of my, me wanting to even rap again. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I ain't even give a fuck because really like, this me and you ain't, like we ain't even get to do it together. And I'm slim. I mean, he slim, so is slim and I'm high from girl time. And we, like his, his grandmother is my mama's oldest sister. His mom is my mama's niece. You know what I'm saying? Like we together. Like we ain't no, ain't no, no. Nah, that's my, my cousin, man. My cousin gone. You know what I'm saying? So I miss him, and I don't use his name up. Like now I'm, I'm so slim cousin. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't fuck with all that. You know what I'm saying? I love my cousin. I never, you know. Like fuck who I use it now, play on it. nah, nah, nah. I'm, if I ever get there, I'm gonna represent you, man. You know what I'm saying? What's your relationship like with Melissa or something? I'm my little cousin, man. The fuck? Speed dial. All that, yeah, speed dial. Yeah, that's my little cousin, man. Fuck, I'm telling you, all that, yeah, that's, we found, bro. This nigga's still here. How uh, you think, would he be proud of him? Yeah, I think, I think he'll be better off if his dad was here, man. It's just a lot of. A lot of the shit he go to, you know, like we, we, you know, I carry a shadow behind Slim. He carry a shadow, you know, behind, the, you know, Slim, you know, like, like, you know, we all family, so, and, you know, so, like, they ain't really fuck with, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 who they want to fuck with, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, like, I never was given a platinum track to make a platinum hit. Always gave me a beat, they ain't want a uh, beat, you know, I wasn't a favor. I was a street type man. That bring the wrong round shit like that, and they don't trust me, you know. But at the end of the day, I I, I ain't never had a bad French track. I never had a you know, you know. I get out just like any one of them, man. You feel what I'm saying? I can put me on. I stand on the track with anyone. I don't give a fuck off. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't blessed. I I never was nobody favorite. You know what I'm saying? And I don't look to be a favorite. I don't look for no nigga hold my hand. But Give me my just do. I got spit game. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? You tell about yourself though, you talking about the legacy going in. And you seen some errors, you know what I'm saying? Like uh but you talking about a dope ass legacy, bro. And still be here to tell it, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are not still here to tell it. So, you know. Yeah. Like I said, I appreciate it once again, man. I told y'all I get to you. I told y'all I get to you, you hear me? Like I said, I don't feel for these interviews, it'd be a lot of bullshit, but and I'm just I'm just what I'm doing is giving you a story that never been told, you know what I'm saying?